Hello, I want to share a some projects that I made using the In Love art dies. But first, um, someone asked me if these are like nouveau drops, and they look like they are like nouveau. This one I just flattered it, and then this one I just made like a circle, and that one like a little dot. So it does look like they could be used like uh, nouveau drops. And I know uh, they have a, a video, scrapbook.com has a video on these, so you could uh, watch that video so that you could see, sorry I have glue all over my <laughs> fingers, so you could see that video, scrapbook.com does show how they use, the, use their pops of color. Okay, so the first three dyes that I picked up was this strawberry dye the smaller one and the larger one and then I uh, picked up the uh, ticket let me show you the ticket die so it comes with the bottom piece and the top piece and so I'm going to show you uh, that really quick and I inter I use them interchangeably so I didn't just keep one die for its one stuff so uh, let me show you what I did. Let me show you the large one. So, I did a couple of dimensional strawberries. So, this is the large strawberry. And I did use the... the this smaller flower for the smaller die in the middle there so and i did put the uh foam dots in there so i did a couple of those like that and they are dimensional And I did use the paper pad gather because I want to finish that off before I open up another uh, paper pad or cardstock. So the next thing I used, so those I did use it with a ticket also. So let me show you really quick how I intend to use them. So this one is the large. From the large die and I think I'm going to put them like that and an embellishment to all of them so this one will go with this one like that and of course I'm going to use foam dots to lift them up like that so that the stem looks like it's hanging from the uh, the leaf so this one will go here like that This one like that, and then this one, the last one, would go here. And I do have to cut out one more because I use it on a project. So the small die has the little basket. So this is what I used on the little basket. So I did use this flower here, that flower there in the middle. And then this flower, I just cut it into pieces and I used it for that one and for this one. And they are dimensional. And the next one, I did use the smaller flower, that one right there. So the uh, middle there, and then I put the flower, that flower, I used two flowers to make these two flowers to make that flower there, and I just put a flat back pearl in the middle.
and then the tiny strawberry that's how they came out so I used this tiny strawberry with this flower here and I just put a uh, flat back pearl in the middle and they are dimensional also And these are the last two that I did. I used different papers for the bottom, but you can't really see the bottom. Only through the strawberry holes you can see. And I think it's so cute, these uh, strawberries. And so for the ticket, I did make them as shakers. And as you can see, I put that larger flower here, one of my enamel dots there, a flat back pearl there, and I put best day ever. I put a jemmy on the middle, and one of my flowers there from this uh, pack here that I picked up in Hobby Lobby. So, and I cut out 110 cardstock, 10 of them, and I glued them all together. And that's the back. So the first four I did with the strawberry. And then this one is the other side. And I used the baby strawberry. And I put a larger flower in the middle. I put one of those three little flowers in the back. And I put in my stash a uh, ticket. And I put one of my enamel bats. And then I put a Little Mermaid there and a seashell there. And I put one of my cutouts, Today is the Day. And then this one is also a sequin shaker. Then the next one I used a small little strawberry. I put a mermaid there and a seashell there. I used that flower, the three little, this one, in the back. And then I used one of the largest flowers that I did. And I put a, a flat back pearl on both of these. And then I put a little teardrop there. And that's how I decorated that one. And again, this one I only used five. Because this one I think was the first one that I did. And it doesn't really shake that well because it, 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 like it all sticks there. But it does move if you whack it so that's why i started doing it 10 of them because it moves better and then the last one with the strawberries i uh put that larger flower in the bottom one of my enamel dots the larger strawberry with the jemmy there one of my flowers from that hobby lobby stack lovely that i had in my stash and one of my enamel dots i put there and this one i think i put eight cardstocks to make it lift and this one as you can see it has the little birdie inside when you shake it all the way to the side so I didn't want to put a lot of sequins inside of it so that you could see the bird when you shake it okay and the next four that I did I did not use the strawberries I use uh, stuff in my stash and I use this ribbon from Hobby Lobby and this from Oriental Trading. Uh, my ribbon in my stash. This one right here from Spellbinders. I did use um, this pom pom trim that Nadia gifted me. No, was it Gina Loves Crap? I think it was Gina. Gina C. And then I did use my uh, flatback curls. And my AliExpress made with love um, die cuts that I had in my stash, and these two trims that I this one I bought in Hobby Lobby, and this one I had in my stash. So, to make these four, like I said, I used the 10 110 cardstock, I cut it out, I put these sequence inside and this one you could see that it moves better. I put one of the 
trends from Hobby Lobby, one of my flowers in my stash, and the die cuts here. And then I use that trim there and the spellbinders trim there. And the back looks like that. The next one that I did was this one right here. I used that pink pom pom trim. And then I used uh, Oh Happy Day cardstock, that trim again from Hobby Lobby, and all the die cuts from that AliExpress uh, die cut packet. And then the stars that you cut out here, I did put them in my sequin mints on all of them. So uh, the next one that I did, I put some of that trim in the back. I put pom pom trim in the back, and then I put that trim from the spellbinders, and I put that heart from Oriental Trading, and then these are the cardstock and I did all of them are dimensional I forgot to tell you all of the little embellishments are dimensions and this one shaped very well which I'm very happy and I did use 10 of the 110 cardstock then the last one as you can see you can see the swans inside and I did use that trim here and I used it up here, and then the heart from Oriental Trading, and then the ephemera, the card die cuts. This one says Sweet Moments, and then a whole bunch of uh, sequins inside, which this one moves really nice, which I'm happy. So it does, uh, it was good that I did the 10 because it does move better than the others. So I was just, uh, this is my first time doing really shakers this small, so next time I know when I first started these. And that is it, I'll be back with a tiny um, Target haul and a peachy cheek haul. As always, please give it a thumbs up if you like this video. If you have any comments, please leave it down below. And if you are not a subscriber, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel so that you won't miss out in future videos. Thank you and have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye.